How does the Chico Unified School District compare with other districts across the state? That question was answered at tonight's board meeting as the school board looked at the rankings across 13 categories. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum was at the meeting and has more on what Chico Unified is focusing on moving forward. All the rankings are from the California School Dashboard, showing each district's performance in 2022. Chico Unified says the pandemic caused a lot of struggles with education, but it's hopeful with its scores. We weathered the pandemic, the difficulties brought on by the pandemic fairly well in comparison to similar districts around the state. But the district says there are many areas that need help, especially with kids in low income homes. In all categories, including worse math and English scores and lower attendance, foster youth, students with disabilities, and homeless students scored significantly lower than other groups. To improve that, we are, um, con we are continuing to implement a multi tiered system of supports to support student needs in all areas academically, social, emotionally, and behaviorally. What we can do as a school to be more welcoming, uh, more accommodating, more motivating, more inspiring to these students, um, that I think we're going to start seeing improvement in that area as well. The district has a very high amount of chronic absenteeism. That's when students miss 10% or more of school. The district has an above average English score and are 34 and a half points below standard in math. But those standards created through the Common Core system were questioned by some in the meeting. Think about 30 years ago what it, the standard was, and if you could even, like calculate, not calculate, translate that to now. Like, are we expecting a lot more? Yes. Is the standard now a lot more for this age group than it was, and why is that appropriate? The district says we'll use these numbers to measure growth for years to come, since it's difficult to compare rankings from years before and after the pandemic. Reporting in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now coverage you can count on. Well, tonight, board members also met in closed session about pending litigation. There was no action taken, but during the next board meeting, February 15th, they will discuss topics associated with the gender transitioning lawsuit.